Stop letting society tell you about the best skincare routines, the hottest plastic surgeons, or the cream that will keep your skin from aging. It's time we start asking ourselves, what the fuck is beauty anyway? If we remove all the IG filters, is there more to a beautiful face than just skincare? Well, I'm here to share it with you, and hell yeah there is. My name is Jen Carrasco. I have been an esthetician, as well as a high-level fitness competitor and an all-around badass for over a decade and I need you to know there is way more to keeping your mind and body clean than just a cream. Join me each week as I cut the BS out of getting healthy, caring for ourselves, and caring for our skin. I share real tips, real ingredients, and real experience. Now let's get some answers on what the fuck is beauty anyway. What is going on, everybody? It's Jen Carrasco, and we are here today to talk a little bit about facials and the benefit of facials and why a professional facial is definitely a must and should be on your monthly, if not bi-monthly, protocol. So here with me is my bestie, like always, Michelle. Hi, guys. So are you going to start? Am I going to start? Well, I mean, you're an esthetician, so maybe you can kind of share with us a little bit about the benefits of having a professional facial versus me just walking into Ulta and grabbing shit off the the shelves. Yeah. Well, there is a lot of things wrong with, I think, walking in and just buying stuff from a beauty counter with people that aren't educated. As a facial, we are a facialist. We go through a lot of training. Um, Well, I shouldn't say that. You need to make sure that you see a really good esthetician that knows what she's doing. Our training to become certified for the state of California, I don't know anywhere else, is about six months, which is not a long time. It's like 600 hours. So if you go full time, I think it's six months versus if you go part time. A lot of your education comes after the fact and researching products, extensive training and making sure you're continually getting education, which in our state is not uh, mandated. You don't have to keep getting education in order to keep up your license, which I think should change. I personally think that everybody should be getting hours just like a nurse or anybody else with skincare and to keep up their licensing. So with getting a facial every month, it, it helps a lot of a lot of factors. You can't analyze your skin properly. A lot of people don't know exactly what blackheads are formed by. They don't know what whiteheads are formed by. They don't know why their pores are getting clogged in certain ways. Products that you're using that are over the counter can cause a lot of trauma to the skin or irritation. It can actually make you age faster. So like for instance, I just had Michelle for a facial today and she has some irritation going on. And she says, I don't know what's going on. I said, well, talk to me about what you're using. And she's like, well, I'm using the vitamin C and she's going on and on. And I was like, well, there's your culprit. It's the vitamin C because I know sensitive skin and I can look at her skin and say, you're having a reaction to vitamin C. It's overstimulating because vitamin C can act as an acid on your skin. So those things are beneficial. I think a lot of us just go to the over counter because it's cheaper. We buy whatever somebody says or we see it on marketing or we see it in a magazine and we think it's going to be beneficial for our skin but honestly really coming in and getting a consultation or a skin consult with a esthetician or an advanced skin therapist that knows what she's doing is is extreme it's something that we all should do especially I think when you hit about the late 20s 30 range I have clients now that are in their 60s 70s and their skin literally looks like they're in their 50s It's beautiful. And they've never had lasers. They've never had injectables. They've never had anything done, but they are consecutive with coming in every four to six weeks for their skin. So there's a lot of great things with coming in for an esthetician. You know, I can look at your skin and know exactly pretty much how your health is. 
Mm-hmm. I can see it with your skin. Yep, your skin's very telling. I think a lot yes. of things happening with your skin tells you what's going on inside your body. Exactly. So there's certain there's certain areas in your skin. For example, like the size of your nose. If you get really vascular and you have veins, it's telling me that you have like an acid reflux going on with your skin. So there's a huge benefit to coming in and getting treatments done. You, I can find out right away if you have cancer cells in certain areas. I can look and I can say, hey, you need to go get this checked by your dermatologist right away. I'm just talking and talking, so I'll let you finish up. <laughs> well, no, I mean, those are great, great benefits, you know, to having someone like yourself. I will have to say that, you know, being a client of yours, I've always liked that about you because I always come in, I feel like my skin's constantly changing if either with my age or even with the seasons. So you always really take the time to really sit down and kind of talk with me about my skin and kind of tell me what your observations Mm -hmm. are and then kind of do corrective, you know, Mm -hmm. either products with that or just maybe taking in more water or changing my diet a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you kind of hit it from from all perspectives. Yeah. And I think if you can find like a really good esthetician or therapist, they can really help you with that. And that's what I'm aiming to do with opening up these studios and getting these you know, getting my team educated on this stuff is because we can really target a lot of your issues that you're having. And even like, for instance, if you have little spots in your face, back in the days, they would call them liver spots, right? Mm -hmm. What actually is a meaning? It actually means that you probably have damage to your liver and it's coming out on your skin. So your skin is the largest organ in your whole body. So whatever is going on internally is going to be coming out into your skin. So it's huge, you know, especially if you can find somebody that really knows what they're doing. And, you know, and I'm not bashing other estheticians out there, but really make sure you do their research and they know what they're doing. Because a lot of times you're just going in and getting a fluffy facial where they rub stuff on their, on your face, or they were educated by like some little skincare clinic and they really do not know what's in products, what's in ingredients and how things can change your skin and what they can do. So another benefit too, I think is you can get professional strength exfoliation as well. So manually at home, you exfoliate your skin. I usually say only once or twice a week, depending on your skin types. Well, so let's stop there. So for people who don't know what exfoliating, can you just share them what that is? (laughs) So exfoliation is getting off the epidermal um, cells of the skin. So your body will shed skin cells constantly through the day and what happens is they sit on the surface of your skin and it actually makes you look dull it makes you look a little older because it's it's just kind of sitting there and you have to exfoliate it off to get those dead cells off get fresh new skin it helps with your circulation helps with your blood flow it's a huge anti-aging property and there's Peels that you could do at home, which I do not recommend unless somebody tells you to do them who is educated on that. There's a lot of times clients come in and they're over exfoliating their skin and they're saying, but my skin's so dry, I'm constantly having to exfoliate and moisturize. So my explanation with that one is your oil is your lubrication for your skin. So the sebum that you produce is your oil, which hydrates the tissue of the skin. So if you're constantly exfoliating the top layer of your skin, you're causing friction, you're causing aggravation, you're stripping your skin of its natural lipids, which is the oil production. And with doing that, your skin now is producing an overabundance of oil to hydrate the tissue, that is now getting dry, you're actually aging your skin because you're causing so much damage with constantly exfoliating. And that's when a lot of people start getting eczema, psoriasis, bumps on their skin, irritation, rashes. And so there's a catch 22. So that's why finding somebody that really knows what they're doing, I can help you through that process. I've had a lot of clients that have come to me and they literally exfoliate their skin probably two to three times a day because their cleanser has an exfoliant in it. Mm. And it's super harsh. And they're like, I'm so dry. And I'm like, it's because you're over, you're over drying your skin. You're doing it to yourself. Mm-hmm. So 
that's my little mundane rant on that one. <laughs> so it goes back to just having that professional looking at your face and kind of giving you that feedback when, you know, what your current status of what your skin carries right now, but then also when you go home, you know, mm-hmm. when I leave after my facial, either with a product or even just a regimen mm-hmm. um, routine yeah. to take home with me too. Yeah. So you're not over exfoliating. Exactly. You know, yeah. You'll do it a couple times a week based yeah. on your skin type or what's what's good for you too. Yeah. So, And I am not a product pusher at all. I don't want anybody to come into my clinic and think that you know I'm just shoving products down your down Mm -hmm. your throat that's not the case whatsoever but I do want my clients using good substantial products on their skin because that will make the difference long term there's a lot of ingredients that are in products now that are actually really harmful for the skin Mm -hmm. and I always feel less is better Um, You'd be shocked with what I do to my skin. And at 40, almost 41, I'll be 41 in June. I think my skin's in really, really good condition. And I honestly only use three products on my skin. And it's because my skin's super sensitive. And so I have to be cautious because if you overdo it, you'll make your skin age faster. But there's sometimes clients will come in and I say, bring in your skincare. Let me take a look at it. And I'll send them home and say, hey, you only need two products to use. Or another thing is I always tell them, hey, you need all of these products at home, but I'd rather you buy all these products, use them because they're going to change your skin and only come see me every three months. And it's just like going to the gym. You're going to go to the gym and work out. But if you go home and eat like shit... What do you think is going to happen to your skin? Right. Or, I mean, to your body. Right. So it's the same concept of what you're doing to your skin because the products that you're using on your skin are day in and day out versus coming to see me once a month or every six, every eight weeks. So diving deep in that, good skincare esthetician that really knows what she's doing. There's a lot of products out there that are universal, that it seems like every esthetician uses the same thing over and over and over. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you a huge warning right now. (laughs) When you go into an esthetician and she says, oh, I use this product, but you've known like six or seven estheticians that use that product, I would say probably walk away and find a different esthetician. Honestly, because they're getting trained by the same people And it's those people that are just coming out of school and they don't really know how to dive in deep into things. And I know that that's super important to you is to be continuing your education on certain products and product lines and making sure that you're kind of, you know, knowing what's in them before you're actually applying them to your clients. I know that's really important to you. So, well, I really want to stress the vital importance that if you walk into our studios you are going to get educated. You are going to walk out with knowledge and education about your skincare, about what you're doing and how skin works. That's my goal. My goal is to change the industry to make sure that you as a consumer know what the fuck is happening with (laughs) your skin. And especially as we get older, so we can kind of touch on the benefits of, you know, as I'm getting close to 50 now, um, notice huge changes happening in my body. And your skin looks great, by the way. (laughs) But for women out there who are probably going through the change, you know, there's some changes that happen with our Mm -hmm. skin as well. So I think having someone, again, a professional looking at your skin and kind of helping you with that process. And it's huge. And I, I really try to reiterate to my clients coming in and seeing me as a must. We can do, um, you know, we have a lot of treatments. We do ultrasound, we do non-surgical facelifts that, you know, kind of work the muscles a little bit to lift and tighten. But I also inform a lot on um, nutrition because if you're lacking stuff inside your body, your skin is not going to look good. I'm sure that there's a lot of people doing education out there for, you know, like collagen. The big thing now is the collagen protein, mm-hmm. the hydrolyzed collagen protein. Mm-hmm. Well, I've done a lot of education on it and it's it's true, it's huge. It's huge for our skin because we have different types of collagen in our body. And I'll do a podcast on that on another time, but you know, we have collagen we have like type one, type two, type three, and they all play a role. And there's certain collagens that actually play a role in each, you know, type. So, you know, consuming, I just had a talk with my client last week, consuming the um, hydrolyzed collagen protein is actually really, really beneficial for your skin tissues. Very beneficial. 
And the same thing with making sure that you get bone broth, Mm -hmm. but making sure that you get good quality bone broth. That's important. um, It's huge for your skin tissues as well, because a lot of times, even if you put collagen on your face, it's not producing the collagen that is inside the tissues that's really going to make a difference in your skin. So I know even like microneedling, little things like that, that we can start stimulating that or like the non-surgical facelifts, the ultrasounds we do, the LED lights. All of that really help with your collagen and your elastin production as you get older. It's a huge benefit. Mm. A book that I just read that I think is really beneficial for people, it's called Superhuman. And it's the, he owns Bulletproof. And so he wrote that book and it dives in deep a little bit about skincare in certain parts. And I think that's hugely beneficial for people. Like the copper peptides that are getting into products mm-hmm. are so beneficial for the, for the skin. Right. And um, I'm working on a skincare line right now from the ground up. And I'm going to start offering some of those products in or some of those ingredients in the products mm-hmm. and make a huge difference within your skin. So do you really... To help really identify your skin type, is there something, again, would that be something be better to be done by Absolutely. someone like you? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. You can't, everybody's skin changes. So I have clients that come in that have oily skin, but they might have to use two different cleansers because they might need something that's going to strip their skin a little bit a couple times during the week. And then they need something that's going to be a little bit more moisturizing to balance. Okay. And your skin constantly changes. So when you come in and see me every month... I normally ask you three questions. <laughs> or I shouldn't say I ask you three questions. I ask you what is to give me three things that bother you with your skin each time you come in. Right. And that usually allows me to dial into the issues that are bothering you with your skin. Right. And so then I can dive in a little bit deeper into those issues. But the thing is, is that our skin changes every month. So you could be coming in and saying, hey, my skin's really oily this month, and then I switch you to to use something that does really great for three weeks, and then you come and see me in two more weeks after that, and you're like, my skin is, you know... Super dry. Dry. <laughs> and then it's, you know, so it's, it's always changing. Right. Our bodies are constantly changing. So that's why I think it's really beneficial. So what about... You know, the, the big talk is always water and water mm-hmm. really helping your skin. Do you mm-hmm. really, do you think that's just a myth thing or do you feel like that's something that's super important? No, I think you? it's super important. Okay. And a lot of times it's really hard for people to drink water just like myself. So I will throw in electrolytes in there. So I will do Dr. Berg, who I really like. He has electrolytes with magnesium. I'll throw that in my water and it tastes really, really good. Throw in some fruit in my water. I'll throw in BCAAs or sometimes if I'm, you know, I'll do the, what is it? The keto or whatever is the, oh, I can't think. The ketos? Yeah. Okay. So I'll throw in that sometimes in my water if I'm like trying not to eat for a couple hours, you know, and just chug water. Mm -hmm. So no, water's huge huge highly important and then sometimes i call your table the torture table yes because there's occasional extractions that need to be done yeah. so and i think that's again those are some things that you probably able to do better than yeah. i would be able to do myself Absolutely. so good topic i'm glad that you brought that up because i think that people overly extract that's okay. my opinion especially estheticians i think estheticians like the fact that they can just pick and pick and pick but the thing is is that when you overly pick the skin you're actually stimulating probably more bacteria and it can probably grow in a certain area and you can actually acerbate your your breakouts mm-hmm. now if you have a blackhead that's really right there and we need to get it, we need to get it because what happens is it's going to open that pore and keep that pore larger. So if I don't get that out, that at least that pore can start to kind of shrink up a little bit mm-hmm. rather than staying expanded. Right. So that's different. But like our nose area, people are like, I want all of these blackheads gone. Well, there's possibly no way. It's... Our skin is producing oil, and when that oil hits the air, it oxygenates and it turns that black color. So it's not debris, it's not dirt, it's your sebum that is oxygenated. It forms like a hard crust. 
So there's things you can do to help it and eliminate it, but you can never get rid of it completely. But as far as like whiteheads, things like that, you really need to come in and see an esthetician or a dermatologist to get those out because you definitely have to kind of like work those out or lance those out. And the last thing you want to do is cause damage to your skin. So people that are listening to this, do not pick your face it is horrible so tempting it's horrible (laughs) now if you have a white head like right there on the surface totally get it okay because that means all the bacteria is up on the surface okay so take little q-tips and go underneath like you're gonna pinch out um so don't use your fingernails no (laughs) q-tips like you're gonna pinch um pinch from underneath the skin to where you're like gonna pop it up and then you can get out that pus Mm -hmm. but the minute you get the red or the clear liquid stop because you got the pus out usually when you get clear liquid that means that there's more underneath so just let it fester get it within a couple hours when it comes back up to the top if you get red blood that means that you got all that bacteria out of there when you get it all out, make sure you use something to, you know, an antiseptic of some sort. To clean it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and I think for me, I mean, in addition to getting to spend some time with you and getting a facial, I really feel like it's one of those things of self-care. You know, I really feel like that's just something, you know, I go to work every day, take care of my kids, something that I deserve. Yep. So Absolutely. I think every woman should treat themselves. Absolutely. Even men. I went anyway. Yeah. Any person. Yeah. Men are, <laughs> should it. honestly, I have gotten tons tons of men clients over the years tons and I think there's something in the works for them yes that's coming out of Virago Mm -hmm. so that will be on its way but yeah no I think it's highly beneficial and honestly it relaxes you Mm -hmm. it makes you feel better when you have good skin it makes you look and feel better more confident I have cleared up so many acne problems for clients right and I go over and beyond. Right. You know, I really feel even for the younger girls, I'll get them in and I know they don't have a lot of money or they're going through school and I help them because it makes me feel better. Right. You know, and I get to see their skin and I get to see their confidence. And to me, that's what makes a difference. Yeah, absolutely. If I was a millionaire, <laughs> I would be doing this because I enjoy it and I love it yeah. and I wouldn't be charging anybody. Yeah. And you're but good at it. <laughs> I have to make a living. That's so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all my questions I had. Okay. So. Yeah, those are some great benefits. Um, so if you've never had a facial, then I would definitely recommend, you know, yeah. finding a good one near you and just, you know, checking it out. Maybe. And if you guys need help finding somebody, email me or DM me because I actually know a lot of people that do skincare just from education, traveling and training people. There's a lot of great people out there that know what they're doing. So a lot. But if you guys ever have any questions or you want me to go over a topic, topic, um, just email us or DM us and I'll go over it with you. If not, check out some YouTubes. So the YouTubes, it's under Virago Studio. I think it's Virago Studio Skin and Body or Virago Skin and Body Studio. And it will actually give you facials that I do like before and afters and during and why I'm doing them and peels and what peels mean and different lactics or salicylic acids you um you actually learn quite a bit so check that out also check out our IG page it's Virago Studio but anyway check us out and um let us know if there's anything else that you really want me to pinpoint into and go over on another episode so I guess that's it for me what about you that's it I'm good Have a good night. Peace out. Bye-bye. Thanks for turning in this week. I hope you feel more empowered and more inspired to love the skin you're in. As we navigate new society norms and beauty daily, make sure to always ask yourself, what the fuck is beauty to me? And know that's all that matters. If you love this content today, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review. Follow me and get more info on my guests at Brago studio.com yes i said it viragostudio.com and that's the shit see you on the next episode beauties